Hey guys, welcome to the channel again, Scuba Travel and Adventure. If you follow the last big video, we were in Salt Lake Flats. Today we just woke up on the campsite. Again, beautiful day, sun is shining. We're getting some breakfast and coffee ready before hitting the road. And that will be the last leg of this trip. For breakfast, all we have right now, all we need, oatmeal, and coffee later if you enjoy the content on this channel don't forget to hit the like button comment down below subscribe to help the youtube algorithm and i'll see you guys on the road So we're leaving Curly National Forest. A little bit of a trouble, we're leaving the campsite. I left the ignition on for a while and I couldn't start the bike. We were lucky enough that the host of the campground uh, had a golf cart and uh, he gave me a pool start. Uh, another thing is I always carry a rope with me. Uh, that came really handy this time. So at this point we're back on the road, uh, heading north towards home. Uh, it's super late uh, because of the incident now, it's uh, 10 to 11, so we blew an hour at least uh, trying to start my bike. Another thing is that uh, it started spinning uh, antifreeze because it's uh, 32 degrees uh, Celsius and I, I kept revving the bike to charge the battery better, but that's a bad idea. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think I should do that ever again. We got about uh, 2.5 miles to get to I-86. And once we get to Pocatello, time to eat something and fuel. And I'll uh, check my antifreeze, because I lost quite a bit. So we are approaching Pocatello right now. And we'll be getting off on I-15 North, another 2.3 miles. I can't believe that uh, I drove, just drove by and the canola is already so grown. And up in Canada, nothing uh, even started yet. 
But what can you expect if it's uh, 30 degrees almost daily here? Same as Utah, it's like extremely hot. And we are on I-15. We're still on I-15 heading north and we pulled in a rest stop which is very similar area to a couple of weeks ago that I posted uh, on the craters of the moon where we were driving through and we didn't get in uh, because of the winds and all that stuff I couldn't do much but here is the same idea it's uh, the, the rock got pushed here like uh, through fissures on the earth uh, 30 to 50 feet up and that's basically a molten lava. As you see the vegetation grows on that already. It's super old, it's nothing recent. Bring it up closer so you can have a better look at it. doubts that I'm gonna be able to get in home today I think I we're gonna have to stop one more night somewhere uh, because of the late start this morning and troubles with my bike but that's the beautiful rest area gotta catch the breather and then carry on the lava is all around me the quite big area We're just getting into Idaho Falls and carry on. Not much going on, on the, anymore on the road as it did in Utah. This is how big is the blade for the windmills that we see off the road. Check that out. This is just enormous. And there's few trucks here that carry those things. And that's comparison how small is the AT comparing to this thing. That's a full length right here. Jak z gazem jesteś? You sure? Ja, 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 tylko się nie wiem, masz gazu. Chodź światkę. We just pulled over for another fuel in Lima, Montana. Oh, we have even the elevation here, which is 6,273 feet. And the scenery has changed. It's looking more like home. Uh, similar type of mountains, uh, mountain range. Yeah, we still gonna try to get into Canadian-American border from here. If we can, I don't know. That uh, temperature is something uh, to deal with today. Maybe it's gonna start cooling off since we are in Montana at higher elevation and maybe even some rain uh, by those black clouds above us, who knows. So Mariusz had to adjust his crappy chain that he bought 
he has to basically adjust the chain every 600 kilometers or so and the sprocket is already shot we did change it before the trip but he bought Chinese crap that doesn't work and uh, it's just ridiculous that, that sprockets that he has in a chain he's gonna get home and uh, he has to get a better stuff I told him to get a DID and he's got some Chinese knockoff My butt is sore already. Being in a saddle for so many days, so many hours every day. I, I must have put in pro probably close to 5,000 kilometers by now. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna be cooler now since the sun is down behind the clouds. Such a different landscape. In Utah we had all the colors. And here either it's a bare rock or grass on, them, on top of the mountains. But at least there's some lakes where in Utah there was not that many of them. Everything, all the rivers that we wanted to even to camp by except for the Colorado River and the Green River, they were all dried out. starts to drizzle a little bit as expected but it's a nice breeze definitely not that heat that was just pounding my wife loves that heat but for me uh, it's a little bit of a story gotta pull over and zip up the jacket in that rain I don't think it's gonna be long actually. It's too small of a rain. If anything, it will cool me off. As quick the rain came, it left even faster. So we just had a bite to eat at Butte, Montana and uh, this is the last stretch for today uh, unfortunately it's, uh, it's still 280, uh, 268 miles left and it is 720 uh, right now so that's uh, pushing
almost missed the exit you know, on I-15. And my friend behind me, Mariusz, follows me. He would have missed it too. There's some kind of a big pit. the road time to kill those chicken strips
that's a nice stretch of the interstate. It's cooled off a little bit and we can push some more. So my friend is already in front of me. So we skipped that uh, a camping area that we're supposed to stay at and we're pushing towards the border, hoping that we will cross the border today. Another thing is we got that rain cloud behind us, so we don't want it. View up ahead, beautiful looking. We just entered Helena, and uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's a uh, capital city of uh, Montana. Unless it's a Great Falls, but I think it's a Helena actually. I would have to double check that before I post it. Now the sun is setting on my left and it's uh, sh shining right in my eyes. And that will be the last, uh, one of the last mountain ranges that we're crossing. After this, it will get flat again. That's why I'm saying it's going to be an exit for us once we get through those mountains. We're in a flat. Because the mountains begin here and they carry on south through all the states. And north towards Canada, of course. Uh, the sun is still peaking over the hill. Not much left out of it. Get this meat head on a video. I don't think I'm gonna be able to film much more for you guys. Because once it gets dark, the cameras don't work too well. That bridge location here is fantastic. Just beautiful. Right now it looks sort of purple.
Yeah, 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 go. Good yourself. Good, I'll take your passport. Where's home for you? Where's home Calgary. For you? And how long were you in the States for? Uh, we left on the uh, 18th. And total value of all goods purchased? I have one beer left and two packs of cigarettes. Okay. Any alcohol or tobacco with you besides what you mentioned? Just the one beer. Any firearms or weapons? No. Any prohibited devices like tasers, pepper spray, you have no. pepper spray or bear spray? Bear spray. Okay, so it's a bigger can? It's a small one uh, for camping, uh, for safe staying in the bush. You got like a picture of a bear in that on it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Any currency equal to or greater than $10,000 Canadian? No. Any cannabis or any cannabis, marijuana, anybody? No. Did you get any modifications or repairs on the bike? Nothing. Yes. Okay, thank you.